Thanks for staying with us here on the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Marcus Tanner. He is, of course, with Second Helpings. He is here for his monthly update. Always good Absolutely. to see you, Marcus. Great, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So we have a lot to talk about today, as Absolutely. always. But we want to start with the Super Bowl yes. uh, event that was in Caligny <laughs> yes. just recently. It sounds like it was a raging success. It was. And that, that's my favorite event that we put on. Uh, so uh, we had uh, a lot of vendors come out, had a lot of soup that's being served, a lot of community, a lot of fellowship. Uh, it was actually the largest attended one that we've had, and it raised the most money of all the ones that we've had and since I've been here. how many years have you been doing it? Uh, that was, I think, is six years so far, okay. at least for here local. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we ended up uh, with over $5,500 wow. that was donated and given, uh, which because of our amazing donors, our volunteers and everything, that allows us to put over 30,000 meals back into the community. That is a huge yeah. number. Congratulations yeah. yes, on that. That's, and that's really that's, amazing. That's one thing we're really excited about is uh, our food donors, our monetary donors, our volunteers. Uh, but it, we, our overhead is not really low, but it's low enough to where uh, right now for every dollar that is given to us, that puts five meals back into the community. Fantastic. Yeah. So when was the last time we went to McDonald's with a family of five and <laughs> paid a dollar for that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's really amazing, though. Uh, that is. It's all due to the community uh, here on the island and across the low country. Well, speaking of funding, we want to just touch on this mm -hmm. for a second, yes, and that is that some of the funding that had been happening yes, due to COVID relief and so forth is not there anymore. So yes. you are having a bigger need from the community maybe this year. So how can they How can they help if, if they want to? Yes, ma'am. So uh, another initiative that we have that's really been gaining ground is our Healthy Food Initiative, which what we noticed is some of the things that we don't rescue a lot of, uh, you know, some of the fresh produce and proteins and things like that. Right. We try to offer that uh, to a lot of our agencies. Uh, and COVID uh, funding was amazing, uh, but a lot of people realized very quickly that that money's going away. And so what we're actually having to do is uh, last year we purchased over 160,000 pounds of fresh produce. This year funding is a little low, so we're uh, we're partnering with Low Country Food Bank. We're partnering with a lot of other places to be able to bring lots of fresh produce in. Uh, but yeah, that's one aspect of uh, you know uh, we always say you don't have to give big you know to make a big impact. Right. Uh, but yeah, right now uh, that's one of the things that we really need is uh, the monetary gifts to allow us to put food back into the community in addition to uh, the, our regular food. But uh, yeah. Uh, Fresh vegetables, produce, uh, I mean, those vibrant things that when you walk in the supermarket, you see, and then you look at the price tag, and it's like, wow. Right. So, uh, yeah, you know, that's, a, and it is, it's it's a lot for uh, for our, people in our community uh, to be able to do. But uh, one thing is about that is, uh, you know, it's been tied to so many deficiencies in vitamins, minerals, uh, diabetes, health, cancer, everything, uh, you know, can all go back to uh, not having a healthy diet. And it's expensive nowadays to have a healthy diet. It sure is. And so let's talk a little bit. You mentioned the Healthy Food Initiative, and yes, we talked a little bit about that. But you, that's the Fresh Express is also part yes, of that. And yes, ma'am. You've had one on the island so far. Yep, and we had one on the one? island and one in Bluffton. Uh, so we had it at uh, St. Andrews by the Sea. Uh, and it was uh, thousands of pounds of produce that was out there. There was cabbage, there was apples, there was uh, sweet potatoes, you name it. And, uh, and it's open to the public. So anybody who wants to come be a part of that can stop by and get food. Uh, and we also had one in a Church of the Cross in Bluffton. Uh, and it was over 700 families came to wow. get food there. And over 500 came here on the island. Amazing. So the word is getting out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so next Monday, uh, this, or this coming Monday, we're gonna have one at Sandalwood and Deepwell. And so it's open to the public to be able to come. And if you need food, come get it. Uh, and you get a lot of great fellowship and learn a whole lot about what we do. So that's March 11th. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And if somebody really is interested in what you do and maybe wanna, wants to volunteer with you, how do they get involved in doing that? So the easiest way is to go to our website at secondhelpingslc.org and click on volunteer. Uh, and you'll fill out a really quick form. And uh, we'll get that notification and we'll get right back to you very quickly. Excellent. And I know you also, you know, you mentioned the island and Bluffton. I know you also did a, a fundraiser for Gata yes. Island as well. So you're really yes, everywhere in the low country. Yeah, all across the low country. Uh, and Beaufort was one of the areas that uh, was struggling a little bit more. We've noticed that a lot of the food uh, that was in that area wasn't necessarily, uh, you know, a lot of the, the healthy food. So we've pushed a lot of there. And because of that fundraiser, uh, they raised over $40,000 to help supplement the food that's in that area. And uh, that has been a fantastic uh, place. They've over over 50 volunteers just from that neighborhood help us out in Beaufort. Wow, great numbers, yes, great numbers. Thanks, yes, Marcus, for being Thank here. You. We appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Thanks to everyone on the show today for their insights and contributions. As always, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And of course, we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.